My name is Carmen Ortiz Victorino. I'm a freelance facilitator in Crooked House Theatre Company. So I'm Seb Harkham and I'm uh, from the UK. So I am Gonzalo, I am the project coordinator in, in FOCO. My name is Clara Quinto and I am, I'm from Ireland. I'm Ansha and I'm coming from Spain, from Galicia. Uh, my name is uh, Michael McKeever and I come from Newbridge, Kildare in Ireland. I'm Sara and I'm from Spain, in particular Galicia. In the project Mouth Off, I was a drama facilitator, youth worker and director of the project. We went to Spain. We did a part about misinformation, like an introduction of misinformation. And then we came to Ireland and we focused on the verbating uh, technique of theatre to treat the topic of misinformation. As a youth leader, it was so grateful to see the process of the participants because they came in the very beginning of the project in Spain with some knowledge that they have from their backgrounds of misinformation but in the end of the project in Ireland you can see them doing the devices with a real wide knowledge of misinformation. Also what we did in Ireland, we took some different techniques, so we interviewed people from the street, we did physical theatre, we did uh, verbal theatre, so they had a wide range of techniques and experience to see the, and treat the misinformation from different points. When they first came to Ireland, it was a bit shocking for them because the weather was so cold, but we welcomed them in the studio with some drama games with Peter Hasse and we made a special dinner for that night that they all enjoyed. Also, they were host in host families, so they had the experience to know how a family in Ireland works. We also have the workshops and lunch in Ryston Centre, that is a big centre we have in Newbridge. It's like a restaurant, so it was so sophisticated and the, the participants really enjoyed the space. So this project started um, in, in Spain, in, in Aguarda. We had there uh, the, first, uh, the first week there with the participants, with the Irish group and the, the Spanish group. Um, uh, the project, uh, the topic is about uh, misinformation, uh, hoaxes and uh, these kind of topics. Uh, we are, we are uh, talking about this using theater methods and, yeah, and theater techniques. Um, um, yeah, it was very, very interesting to, to come here to see the group again. For young people, these kind of programs are very, very interesting. Uh, they are able to, to meet other people around Europe and also to share uh, experiences uh, with other young people. Um, also to talk about misinformation and these kind of topics. Uh, it's very useful for them because they are uh, used to, to spend a lot of time in social media and social networks. I'm this week looking at uh, headphone verbatim techniques. Um, as well as other verbatim techniques, but mainly uh, taking recordings of uh, actual speech, interviews and um, information taken directly from a person where we just have the audio and trying to uh, work on techniques to help us to speak alongside the recording of the per actual person talking. Um, well, we've got uh, a group which is half Spanish students and half Irish students and um, with the verbatim uh, technique stuff, obviously a lot of the material that I have is, is English language and even though the Spanish students have got really, really excellent English, uh, we are trying to work with sometimes some text that may be in Spanish or maybe in uh, another language altogether 
that's not uh, English or Spanish, and sometimes to work with um, students on physicalizing things rather than speaking them to um, yeah to, to make an interesting uh, version of what somebody's saying from their body rather than from their voice. So um, yeah, it's working with a with a group of mixed uh, language speakers uh, to uh, influences the material a little bit in terms of it being um, from, from sometimes different sources. Yeah, I love verbatim theatre and particularly verbatim theatre that comes from audio. So uh, uh, with people actually uh, playing a track in their ear while they while they speak it uh, is because it's the nearest thing that you can actually get to real truth. It's a really important um, uh, technique to work with in an age where we don't necessarily trust the media sources or we don't trust the information that we're being given. This is actually really about being as true to the information and the speaker as you can possibly be. The filmmaking workshop we did during the MADOF project was about talking over and experimenting the effects of media elements on misinformation. We used the filmmaking instruments and grammar to tend the project's topic. We discussed and practiced activities that how the reality can be changed by camera and lenses, acting, framing, editing, and so on. All the participants have social media accounts from different so uh, platforms. So they were interested in the workshop since they are familiar with the issues. As an outcome, after divided in groups, the participants decided a scene, devised it, then created a short film out of that scene. And it was done collectively. So by that, they had the opportunity to express their ideas and creativity on the topic. So the topic of the project that we're working on is about misinformation and what we're doing with the project is we're just looking at different types of misinformation and where we can find it. So that could be on social media, on the news, newspapers, and we're just kind of discussing the topic and finding different ways to portray misinformation through verbatim theatre. Misinformation or disinformation uh, that are uh, terms that are constant constantly in our lives and firstly uh, we were in Galicia uh, working in two uh, theatre plays um, about misinformation and now here uh, we are recording a little uh, piece of film. I think it's really good actually like learning new things, new types of acting uh, with another people, doing exchanges is actually so cool. I learn about uh, not believing everything I read in the internet and social media and uh, for doing the interviews and all that stuff I learn like people usually believe more uh, about what they talk about with someone that they read and depends on the age you kind of fall for the fake news more than new people like uh, young people. This project is mostly about um, kind of showing people the methods of, you know, disinformation and misinformation that are, you know, that, that people can use to either by accident or maliciously spread in order to deceive people or, you know, try and there's, there's, there's usually a lot of like monetary or rhetoric or like political reasons for why people are using like disinformation and misinformation, uh, usually disinformation, um, in order to you know try and further their cause, what they want, what they want from you, from the people who they're trying to spread their message to. And then I'd come back, and people would ask me what's going on on the front, and I'd, I'd tell them, and uh, they'd keep it short. How many kills you have? 
Uh, no, I always, I don't follow any that isn't, I don't like hear it about news, so I always try and... and so you want the girl on the wall. Hello there. Do you mind if you answer a couple questions for me? Oh, good stuff. The lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Don't ever use that word. Oh, give me a break. Because man. you know what? There's nothing smart about you, Joe. 47 years, you've done well, nothing. Let's have this debate. And if we'll you would have had, show. let me just tell you something, Joe. No, if you would have had. 200. Zero, 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 z